What up, what up everybody, it's your boy CG, back at you guys again with another crypto video. Now, I, I know I took the last two days off, you know, just kind of had to wrap my head around taking care of um, my transportation situation. Your boy finally just um, buckled down and, was, and got a new vehicle for myself so that I'm more mobile now, able to handle a lot more um, of my, you know, everyday responsibilities, you know, more, how can I put this, actively you know instead of you know passively you know it just made everything easier so that's why I, I didn't post anything yesterday or the day before that I was just really focused into that making sure I made the right decision but enough about that let's talk about w what we're actually here to talk about today my bit token as you guys saw from the title of the video acronym MYB my bit comes in around 2018 cents my bit is up 3.81 percent today Market cap at 5.4 million with an average traded, traded volume of $4,432. Circulating supply at 2.5 million my bit. Total supply at 2.8 million. Now, these may be, seem like unimpressive numbers to a lot of people, but I, I have to remind everybody my bit in ICO phase was extremely popular because of the implications that came with the um the direction that the project was moving in and what the platform actually did my bit essentially is connecting um potential investors with people with ideas that generate revenue and essentially not as necessarily in just like a crypto perspective a big example that they use with my bit was for example a person who wanted solar panels on her home to you know reap the benefits of having a solar powered house where all of her appliances were solar powered and her not having connection to any investors that would believe in that idea and that's a real world problem for a lot of people you know depending on geographical location financial situation credit you know all of these things play a role and or factor in whether a person can achieve their goal or realize one of their um projects or, or whatever they want to do so my bit seems to take away all that middleman stuff, those complications that come with, you know, having to look for a broker, fees, banks, all that extra stuff. And this connects two people with capital and good ideas. Well, two people, one with capital, one with good ideas. You know, they can both have good ideas, but, you know, they basically make that connection that probably would have, wouldn't have been made before. Now, my bit is available on hit btc i thought it was on bitrix i don't know why i thought it was on bitrix but yeah hit btc cryptopia ether delta and coin exchange my bit is ranked 270 on the exchanges but don't be i wouldn't be surprised once my bits platform really takes off let's see at its all-time high my bit was six dollars and 74 cents on the seven dollars i just saw seven i think i just saw seven 718 yep 718 and after that the sell-off happened people you know people are let's be real idiots people don't see the value in these things they just buy coins just to sell them and flip it i think one my bit was like a dollar or something at ico phase so you know people invested like what some some money in here some bread and then once the ico released onto the exchanges they sold off at like seven dollars so you know maybe seven x profit if it was a dollar i think i think one my bit was a dollar but yeah basically seven x profit at its peak and you know people have no vision no long term like real real like like basically vision yeah they have no long term perspective on things like people just want to take it and run with it you know sometimes you guys have to see the value in something before other people see it just like I've always been saying in all of my videos it is essential that you understand what exactly it is you're investing in now you guys can go over here on their social media platforms which is on Twitter at my bit underscore D app that let's click on that one time for the one time my bit has 3,760 followers cool my bit was just published on Forbes site forbes.com August 14th 
pretty cool. I'm surprised my bit isn't as popping as it is. Maybe the volume is so low because people have a lot of my bit and understand that they're that they're not about to give up their my bit. You know, that makes a lot of sense if you think about it because the volume's low. That means people aren't trading it. That means people are just holding their coins. So that just goes to show you what people see inside of this platform or this project even. Now, if you guys want to, you can head over here to mybit.io and check out what exactly mybit is about. As you guys can see, the crowd sale is over. And you can pre-register today for the mybit platform. Now, they have a video on here that kind of breaks it down as far as how mybit operates and how the platform is going to work. So here you guys go. For the first time in financial history, anyone can have access to capital from anywhere in the world armed with little more than an internet connection and the MyBit platform. Traditional financing is just too time consuming, cumbersome and expensive. And for others, it's not even an option due to geographic location and the lack of a nearby bank. MyBit changes the investment game. It levels the playing field by using smart contracts to bypass the onerous processes, documents and fees associated with traditional lending. This opens up a new world of abundant investment and resulting in equal streams. MyBit gives small investors new access to revenue streams previously reserved for banks and investment funds. With MyBit, anyone can invest or raise capital from anywhere in the world. Peer-to-peer, -peer, seamless, fast and secure. Here is how it works. Alice would like to reap the benefits of renewable energy via solar panels at her home. Unfortunately, solar panels are not within her budget. Bob is an investor. He would like to invest in assets that generate consistent and dependable revenue streams like those created from Alice's solar panels. Regrettably, there has been no efficient way to connect Alice and Bob until today. Meet MyBit. An open source, transparent and resilient decentralized application that securely unites individuals with investors. It's simple. Alice requests funding for a revenue generating asset by registering it on the MyBit platform. Investors like Bob send money to finance the asset and in return receive a liquid ownership stake. This enables Bob to receive revenue distributions or sell his stake on an open market exchange. All of this is managed by smart contracts powered by the public Ethereum network. Smart contracts guarantee the execution of terms exactly as programmed, without relying on third parties or middlemen to complete agreements, resulting in a secure, efficient and safe mechanism for Alice and Bob to interact. The MyBit platform is powered by cryptographically secure tokens. Tokens are used as the payment method for the platform to fund assets and distribute revenue. Holders of MyBit tokens earn money from network fees for each transaction on the MyBit network. Tokens can be purchased during the MyBit token sale. MyBit will transform the world of capital and investing. Now is your chance to be a part of that change. Join the MyBit community. Well, there you guys have it. That's a basic breakdown of what MyBit is about. You guys can come on here and check out what's going on in the community, see who the team is, partnerships, what's going on. Well, the token sale is pretty much done with, but that's another thing you guys can, I don't know, click on for whatever purpose that serves you. So here's the, um, the team for MyBit. You guys can come over here, check them out. You know, Google them, do your research just to see what's going on, the advisors. The communities that MyBit has, their social um, media platforms as well. And yeah, as you guys can see, MyBit has some really good um, implications behind its tech, its uses. I honestly see MyBit as a really big project. I personally haven't invested into MyBit yet, but I am just there on the brink of investing it as soon as I have some more free floating capital because my bit is going to be a a project that a lot of people aren't taking seriously and I guarantee you once this thing goes crazy people are going to regret it. I guarantee you it's one of those projects that when you actually, you know, 
sink your teeth into it and you see the value behind what you have you're not going to regret your decision of investing so yeah everybody that's about it for my bit um the beta release for the actual project is going to be out january of 2018 so you know look forward to that um in other news i've been checking out some other articles today that actually came to my attention that actually you know spoke on some really um how can i put this crucial points that i feel need more attention in cryptocurrency um space for instance in this one they are talking about false ai the future this is actually an ico but it's the future of safe crypto investing and i like to see more um how can i put this advancements and progress in making the space a lot safer for new and old investors in cryptocurrencies so yeah, i'm not going to get too much into it it's, it's actually an ico it grabbed my attention if you guys want to check it out it was um it came up in my um btc news so you guys can check it out i'm gonna have retweeted the article on my twitter my twitter is gonna be where i post all the articles to um the news that i find or do in my videos so you guys can you know just come follow me at fatmatic underscore cg and read up on the articles you guys can also find um the articles well the link to my twitter inside of the video description i believe it should be in there and on my um fat Mat my crypto gamer ch youtube channel right there next to the cover photo you guys should be able to see the link to my twitter there as well well yeah there's that there's also here where they were discussing um the warnings about cryptocurrency valuation soaring and they're com making a lot of comparisons to um the dot-com bubble so on and so forth and i've made my comparisons to it as well in past videos if you guys weren't aware but yes cryptocurrencies are extremely similar to the dot-com bubble and the direction that it seems to be heading but remember that doesn't necessarily mean that cryptocurrencies are a failed product all that means is the um all the bs is going to get shedded from the real tech the actual stuff that's really going to change the world you know like people are really going to start seeing the value in things when this happens and it's sad to say that people are only going to start to see the real value in projects when everything you know goes to hell understanding the value in having a good competent team um a real good project that actually has how can i put this working platforms or working demos out there that people can interact with or you you know stuff that they actually put their time energy and soul into and that they are s selling to us individuals and giving us reasons to believe in what they see as the future and what innovations they can help bring to make the quality of life for everybody better so yeah they were just comparing it to um a lot of different um market bubbles and just people you know hi, you know just being skeptical about the whole thing the a whole idea of uh you, you guys understand where i'm coming from with this people are just scared they don't know there's so much open acceptance now among you know accredited investors i guess as you would call them and more government entities now that now cryptocurrencies are really in the big melting pot phase where it's like everybody's throwing their two cents in on a global scale it's cryptocurrencies i'm not going to say it's at its height or its peak yet but right now this um global um exposure is is just running rampant like a wildfire and it's going crazy i wouldn't be surprised to see some even crazier news drop tomorrow like i don't know donald trump endorses bitcoin <laughs> you know some crazy some crazy stuff like that well let's see what's up next i was also reading oh the trend that is increasing the urgency of owning bitcoin and ethereum so this article basically talked about how you know how hard forks basically reward users for owning certain coins and the kind of the same thing as airdrops they were discussing how bitcoin and ethereum and icos so on and so forth the differences between the benefit of holding these certain coins or just coins in particular that will give you the benefit of an airdrop or experiencing a hard fork that bitcoin and like how bitcoin and ethereum are constantly going through and they're kind of discussing the how hard forks and airdrops are practically a better model for 
ICOs to actually get their company name out there. And I can understand where they're coming from because, you know, it's more, it's literally more of an open, hey, believe in us, we're giving this for free, come believe in us type, type of deal. But it also takes away from the realism that people aren't experiencing, that people aren't experiencing with the coins that actually delve, deal with, you know, um, how can I put this? Investors need money. Well, not all of them, but with certain projects, they need money to make things happen. So I understand airdrops, you know, dropping the rest of a coin that's already been bought up by the world because people believe in it. And I also understand hard forks, you know, is basically free money. But, you know, we can't just keep hard forking every five seconds. And I also think that with the airdrop, there's a, you know, there's a big flaw in it because it, real pro projects that need actual work done need funding. And that's what ICOs basically are, initial crowd offering, initial coin offering, I'm sorry, so that they can fund their endeavors so that they can more actively attack it. Now, I don't know if the guy who made this article, you know, was thinking about that as well. But, hey, you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinions. Maybe he did think about that and he still gave his unbiased opinion. It's whatever. But that's just my view on it. Um, you guys can check out this article as well. It's going to be on my Twitter. And he basically highlights the differences between the two. But, yeah, everybody, this is your boy CG. I'll come back at you guys tomorrow with another crypto video. Oh uh, man, I started working in the morning again. I actually started um at UPS part time. Um, you know, just a little nighttime job, you know, just to bring some more extra funds in to invest in the crypto space, you know, on top of um just other stuff I wanna do. And then, you know, the schedule works for me, it's like a night shift. It comes with awesome benefits. The only thing that sucks about UPS is you gotta wait a whole year before a lot of stuff kicks in. And that sucks, but you know, it's whatever, you gotta do what you do. <laughs> Well, I'll eventually be at a point where I could quit UPS when I want to anyway. Or I'm just doing it just to do it. Or just for the benefits. But yeah, everybody. This is your boy CG. I'll come back at you guys tomorrow with some more crypto news, information, and opportunities. I look forward to hearing you know any feedback from you guys. Like, subscribe, share, whatever you guys want to do. I appreciate all the love and the good energy. All I do is aim to bring value to all of my viewers and subscribers. Alright, everybody. Peace. God bless. I'm out.